I do knee and hip replacements. Um, I do the direct anterior hip replacements, which tends to get people up and moving pretty fast, although all of the replacements we do now and even the revisions, we try to get people up and moving back to their normal life as quickly as possible. Um, I also take care of um, revision, knee and hip replacements, and infections, and some paraprosthetic fractures and, and other fractures. Sometimes people come and they've been kind of teed up so that they come and they have arthritis and they're interested in having their hip or their knee replaced and those are kind of the easy ones. Then there are the people that come in with painful joint replacements and there's lots of different things that can cause that and so we spend a lot of time trying to go through an entire algorithm, figure out what's going on, is it infected, is it loose, is something kind of structurally causing the pain, is it soft tissue? That's kind of the challenge of, of revision arthroplasty is trying to figure out what's causing pain and then if I can figure out what's causing pain, a lot of times I can help make that go away. So it's, it's kind of fun. You don't have to wait for them to get better. It's, it's almost immediate. And then they kind of keep getting better as time goes on. And, and I like to say, like, my favorite part of joint replacement is when they kind of forget about me and they just go about their life. And I'm pretty unrelenting in making sure that people get the best care that they can possibly get. And so I'm a big advocate for my patients. I know that you're going to get the best version of me every time that I do it um, and that we're going to make sure that, that whatever we're doing, we're going to do it the best we possibly can so that you're going to be happy with it in the end. I do a lot of woodworking, so I, I like to build furniture and tables. All those tools that I have outside are very similar to the tools that I use in the operating room. And um, it's no coincidence that the things I like doing outside of work kind of make me better at doing what I do in the operating room.